Yeah, that's just not going to do. Welcome to The Gin Show, and this is a tech episode. So this episode is quite interesting and personal to me because it's coming to you from a personal quest to find a better boom arm. See, I use my mic all the time, especially since I like went full remote during COVID. I use this mic for Zoom, for work, for professional presentations, YouTube videos, even my podcast. It is literally the arm that is helping me out all day long. I started out with this little Amazon boom arm, which worked great for $50. But over time, as I got heavier mics and just the parts were used, mostly plastic parts, they just failed over time. So it's fair to say that I was looking for an upgrade, like the best I could possibly have. I was ready to move into the prosumer market. And the PSA OnePlus, from my research, is the best boom arm you can purchase on the market today. And here are my top reasons why I think so and that it's the professional choice. And this is the biggest one for me. It's silent. This boom arm, compared to my other boom arm, anytime I would move it, it would make a noise. And there was a few times that it that came into question when I was doing presentations or even videos here. So I had to like re-record what I was doing because the audio had this like terrible squeak inside of the arm. Having having like a really silent arm mattered to me because the other one was kind of distracting and I just shouldn't have that if you're doing like professional um, presentations. Just from the overall construction as well as sleeve that's on it, um, there's a fabric sleeve. Um, it's really designed to have zero rattle. Make sure that the arm is silent as it's being moved and as you're adjusting it. Uh, so that that was number one for me. The second one was the build quality. My other one that I have from Amazon, which I think is fine, you could tell that there were plastic pieces and it just wasn't as heavy duty as it needed to be. This microphone, which is the Rode Procaster XLR mic, as well as their shock mount, is pretty heavy. And I needed to do some modifications on the other one as the parts were starting to wear out. It started to get weight creep, right? And I would I would be speaking and had to constantly readjust the microphone because it was just too heavy and the parts were wearing out. That was something that was really important to me. I didn't want to have to be worrying as it just sat there. Lastly is cable management. I'm a firm believer that cable management is art and every setup should be managed in some way. I know that I judge a potential mate on how they manage their cables. So don't get sloppy folks or you may be single forever. <laughs> there you go, golden advice. In my previous setup, I was using a series of Velcro ties and uh, twisty ties to essentially take the cable and strap it to the frame. You know, it made some noise when I would do that, but also just like moving the cable, it didn't have a lot of give because it was strapped to the frame. Also on a personal level, I believe that cable management matters in my setup as well as just like my general overall like workflow. It, it matters to me that things look nice and things are orderly. So I would say overall, I'm very happy with this arm. Uh, so far, my testing has been great. My comparison to my other arm, just like picking it up and looking at the components were really, really good. Um, and I'm glad that I decided to go with this. I think that the only competitors to this could be the previous PSA 1 model, as well as the Elgato, like low, um, the Elgato low profile. The Elgato low profile... <laughs> Who is this a good choice for? Uh, folks that want to up their game, folks that are on the phone often use their microphone either for work or for productions. If you're doing this more than two hours a day, you should consider having a good arm that is going to support your microphone, especially if you have a heavy mic. I will go ahead and put a link in the description for the microphone stand that I have here, as well as the, the Amazon one that I have currently have and have used for the last year and a half, almost two years. Uh, so you can do your own uh, reviews or just analysis of the specs. But I can tell you now, 
uh, this is daylight and dark in terms of just the overall build quality. I'm not affiliated with any of these folks, but uh, wanted to put it in there for your analysis. So that pretty much wraps up this tech review. Talk to me in the comments below if you also have a cool boom arm that I overlooked or some recommendations for me. Say hello to me on Twitter. I do have a personal goal of getting a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And I, of course, would appreciate your support. Thank you for watching The Gent Show.